Hello and welcome back to Social Adventures new YouTube series. Today we are doing activity two from the art booklet that everyone should have by now. And this is focusing on David Hockney and landscape images. So why David Hockney? So I think David Hockney's artwork is really accessible to everyone. It's really fun, lots of bright colours and um, he explores lots of different countryside and landscape scenes and specifically um, lots of New Yorkshire hills. Okay nice, so I'm seeing a lot of beautiful landscapes yep. and there is a lot of different colours, a lot of imagery. Now I'm aware that we're not sending examples out in the past, yes. yep. so how can people at home who want to create their own mm -hmm. landscapes, where can they look for inspiration? So um, there's so many images to be found online, on the internet, you can just Google away. You may have some old postcards at home, um, or if you've been on a walk or a trip, somewhere a bit more personal, there may be photographs on, on your mobile phone you can copy from. Okay, cool. Now I can see there in your mm. in your pack. Do you want to show that to yes. the camera? Mm. So these, as Hannah's already done, are four different landscape designs. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering if quickly without the colours you could walk us through the basic shaping yeah, and what sure. to do. So you see kind of in your art booklets, um, David Hockney explores and uses lots of different kind of lines and patterns to kind of suggest the shapes of the rolling hills and different marks and textures and sort of dots and longer sweeping lines. So with my initial kind of compositions, my original kind of sort of ideas, I've tried to kind of think about those different lines, whether you've got a bit of cross hatching or some single sort of hatching and dots, just to give a bit of a flow to the different hills and mountains. Cool. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's just a case of, in art packs, you've got quite a few sheets of, of white paper and they're kind of postcard size, so it's quite nice actually for a landscape. And all you need to do is, with your HB pencil, just sketch out um, some of your lines first. Um, then you may like to add colour with pencils or felt tips. And it's always quite nice as well to just finish it off with, with black outlines just to make those lines and dots a little bit clearer. A bit more punchy. So Mel is kindly joined us again to participate in the art class. How are you doing Mel? I'm fine. Cool. Thank you. And you're doing your own landscape there? Yeah. Very nice. Where have you taken your inspiration from? What are you going for? Um, a bit of, bit of this one and like trying to mix them up. So looking at a few of them and then putting them in. Yeah. Trying to get them all in. So I suppose that's the good thing about it, isn't it? There's no set. No. You can take bits from each really and, and create your own. Yeah. Is this something you would do at home? Oh yeah. Um, I just like drawing and doodling and stuff. This is quite nice and I suppose this is something if you go away or you're out with the family. Well yeah because when we went away at weekend I took the art stuff with me and I did a few bits and then like, you're looking all the time around as well. 
Yeah. So it gets you looking at the countryside as well, because you're looking for ideas. Yeah, and that's that's something else you could do. If you're out with your family and your friends, and you do stumble across some nice landscapes, take a picture, maybe take it home, and then all together, from the same inspiration, see what you come up with. Draw the, draw the picture you've taken. Um, if you do do that, we'd love to see it. So these are the, some of the bits and pictures we've given Mel um, as inspiration. It's like cloud, sky, I think. A bit of a landscape. Beautiful sun. Yeah, so use anything you find on the internet, as Hannah said. Look for old postcards, have a look around you when you're out walking. And show us what you can do. So here's a couple of finished landscapes what Hannah's done. So this one's been done with felt tips and biro pen. And then here is another which is oil pastels. So feel free to use any other art equipment you have of your own at home that's not from the packs to finish these pictures. And when you have finished them, make sure to show us. We want to see what you're doing. Tag them on social media, comment in the video, upload your pictures, and we'll be sure to share them. See you next week.